What do Tiger Woods, Wayne Rooney, and Dwayne Wade have in common? They've all unfortunately been known for being unfaithful to their spouses. Find out who else as we look at sports icons who cheated on their wives. NBA superstar Dwayne Wade and actor Gabrielle Union had been dating for quite some time when they decided to take a break. According to ET, during that break, Wade fathered a son with Asia Matoyer, a woman he had known for years. In her 2021 memoir, You Got Anything Stronger, Union detailed the heartbreak she felt over Wade fathering another child while she was experiencing fertility issues, writing, To say I was devastated is to pick a word on a low shelf for convenience. The experience of Dwayne having a baby so easily, while I was unable to, left my soul not just broken into pieces, but shattered into fine dust scattering in the wind. Whatever issues Wade and Union had are apparently worked out, if their social media game is anything to go by. In October 2021, the couple shared a shirtless selfie on Instagram while wearing matching pants. Franck Ribéry would probably like to forget the year 2010. In July of that year, the former three-time French Player of the Year was questioned by authorities regarding an investigation into an underage prostitution ring that revealed Ribéry and a former teammate both had sexual relations with a 16-year-old girl, Zahia Dehar. Ribéry's lawyer, Sophie Bote, insisted during a radio interview that her client was unaware of Dehar's age at the time, telling The Guardian, she would have had to look like a minor, which was not the case. She would have to be claiming that she had told him she was a minor, which is not the case. According to the Daily Mail, during a 2010 interview with Paris Match Magazine, Dahar stated the former FIFA World Cup player paid her for sex and that Ribéry thought she was 18 during their encounter. The publication went on to say that Ribéry's wife was willing to stay in the marriage. For his part, the athlete went on to say, it hurt my family above all those close to me. That's all I want to say. According to France 24, the case was eventually dropped after the prosecution admitted that the underage sex worker had herself told the men that she was 18. In November 2009, Tiger Woods' reputation was turned upside down when his wife of five years, model Elin Nordegren, reportedly discovered he'd been unfaithful through texts on his phone. Nordegren supposedly chased Woods out of the house with a golf club. He sped off in his vehicle, but crashed into a tree outside their home. According to a Yahoo Sports timeline of events, that fender bender was the catalyst that brought forward dozens of alleged mistresses from Wood's past. Woods later issued a statement reported by CNN, apologizing for his behavior, saying, I have let my family down and I regret those transgressions with all of my heart. I have not been true to my values and the behavior my family deserves. According to the New York Post, Woods carried out as many as 120 affairs during his marriage. Following the big reveal, he checked into a sex addiction clinic. Years later, when asked what he regrets from his past, Woods didn't mention his cheating scandal. You know, if you look back, the only regret I have in life is not spending another year at Stanford. And I wish I would have had That's one more year. That's the only regret. That's the only regret I wish I had. In June 2003, Los Angeles Lakers star Kobe Bryant was at the top of his game when a night in a Vail, Colorado resort would forever change his path. Bryant allegedly had a sexual encounter with a 19-year-old woman who worked at the hotel. His wife, Vanessa Bryant, and first child were not with him on the trip. According to CNN, the teenager filed a police complaint the day after the alleged encounter, and Bryant was subsequently charged with sexual assault, which could have landed him in jail for life if convicted. Speaking about it at a press conference, Bryant said, I didn't force her to do anything against her will. I'm innocent. You know, I sit here in front of you guys furious at myself, disgusted at myself for making a mistake of adultery. A year later, the case against Kobe was dropped after the alleged victim refused to testify in the trial. The Washington Post reported that she did, however, file a civil case against him, which was settled behind closed doors. The stress from this period in time weighed heavily on Bryant and his wife. In 2015, he shouldered the blame for the miscarriage Vanessa suffered during the trial, speaking about it in the documentary Kobe Bryant's Muse, saying, We were expecting our second child during that time, and there was just so much stress. I have a real hard time dealing with that because I felt like it was just my fault. Though the couple filed for divorce in 2011, they reconciled and remained together until Kobe Bryant tragically died in a helicopter crash in 2020. New York Knicks basketball star Carmelo Anthony and wife Lala Anthony's union was well documented on reality TV, and they certainly became a fixture on the NYC social scene. 
All that came to an abrupt end in April 2017, when tabloids began claiming the small forward had been unfaithful to his wife of seven years. Soon after, the couple announced their separation, and while neither side has publicly discussed the alleged infidelity, the press hounded Lala and her son, though she stayed positive about it, telling Extra, You kind of get used to it. What can you do? My mom always says, worry when people don't care about you. And that's what I tell myself. As for their son, Lala said she would lie to him, saying the paparazzi was following them to get fashion shots for magazines, adding, I kind of tried to make it fun for him, so he doesn't view it as a negative thing. We explain it in a way that works for a 10-year-old. According to E!, after a brief reconciliation, Lala Anthony filed for divorce in June 2021 after 11 years of marriage. Lala spoke about the experience and her updated views on marriage during an appearance on The Angie Martinez Show. Marriage. I don't think I could do that ever really? again. I mean, some like amazing person would have to come. I don't see that happening. Former player and current manager of the Welsh national team, Ryan Giggs is considered one of the greatest footballers of all time. However, his private life hasn't proved as glamorous. In 2011, it was reported by Bleacher Report that the former Manchester United star carried on an eight-year affair with his brother's wife. During a 2018 interview with The Sun, Giggs's father, Danny Wilson, didn't have many kind words for his son, lamenting about his disappointment and claiming that he does not even like to refer to his firstborn by his name. He went on to say, He is my son, and it brings me close to tears to say that my family don't respect him and look up to him. As the eldest, he should have been watching his brother's back, not stabbing him in it. He cheated in the worst possible way and is not man enough to apologize for it. Also in 2011, the Sydney Morning Herald reported that Giggs was outed for having an extramarital affair with model and former Big Brother star Imogen Thomas. In 2007, boxer Oscar De La Hoya found himself in a quandary when an exotic dancer posted photos of him wearing fishnet stockings, panties, and heels. The images immediately let everyone know, including his wife, that he had been messing around. At the time, the golden boy refused to admit it was him in the snaps. According to the Daily Mail, his spokesperson flat out denied the authenticity of the photos, saying, his head's too small and it doesn't even look like his body. The reputation of the woman who posted the snaps, Milana Dravnell, was allegedly smeared by the boxer's team in an effort to discredit her and the photos. Dravnell filed a lawsuit against De La Hoya, which was settled behind closed doors, though sources told the New York Post that the number was reportedly $20 million. Fast forward four years later, De La Hoya came clean in an emotional interview with Univision, claiming he was drunk and high on cocaine during the photo shoot and saying, I am tired now of lying, of lying to the public and of lying to myself. The fighter admitted that he had cheated on his wife, Millie Coratere, whom he married in 2001. I hate myself for it, you know, putting her through all that stuff, you know, now what? As of 2016, De La Hoya was reportedly a bachelor again. Former basketball great Lamar Odom's drug addiction and infidelity helped fuel the demise of his marriage to reality star Khloe Kardashian. The pair tied the knot in 2009 and officially divorced in 2016 after a slew of scandalous headlines, including Odom's drug bender that nearly left him dead in 2015. In 2017, the former Los Angeles Lakers star came clean about his roaming eyes to Us Weekly, putting some blame on the reality show Chloe and Lamar, saying, When I became Chloe Kardashian's man and on TV, it made me look more enticing. People who didn't even know basketball would approach me because they knew Lammy. He went on to add, if there was one thing I regret when I was married, it was having multiple affairs with different women. That wasn't the stand-up thing to do. Manchester United legend Wayne Rooney has had his share of cheating scandals. According to The Telegraph, in 2010, Rooney was the subject of cheating allegations when former escort Jennifer Thompson claimed she had a paid threesome with Rooney and Big Brother 15 winner Helen Wood, while Rooney's wife was pregnant with their eldest child. According to The Sun, in 2017, Rooney was arrested for drunk driving in another woman's car. Wood, who was part of the infamous threesome, told the Daily Star that Rooney's wife should leave him after his arrest, saying, Mum to mum, I would tell her to get out. A leopard never changes its spots. Once a cheat, always a cheat. In the first trailer for Rooney in 2021, his wife Colleen finally broke her silence on the years of cheating and allegations, saying, I forgive him, but it wasn't acceptable. In August 2012, one month after their nuptials, 
NFL wide receiver Chad Johnson and wife Evelyn Lozada reportedly got into a terrible squabble over a receipt for a box of condoms. According to TMZ, it got so heated that Johnson allegedly headbutted Lozada, leaving her with a three-inch laceration on her head. After the spat, Lozada reportedly fled to a neighbor's house to seek safety. Johnson was arrested and booked on domestic violence charges, though he claimed Lozada headbutted him first. According to People, Johnson and Lozada divorced a month later. While suspected infidelity was at the center of this dispute, Lozada apparently turned a blind eye to the possibility while they were engaged. When asked if she worried about the Cincinnati Bengal cheating on her, she told Latina in 2010, It's not something that I worry about because if I did, I would go crazy. I really feel like that's not something I can control. Eight years after their divorce, Lozada claimed that Johnson abused her multiple times during their brief marriage after the footballer tweeted about his frustration over the fact that he had lost so much over what he claimed was a one-time incident. Former New Jersey Nets player Jason Kidd had his dirty laundry aired by his wife of 10 years, Jumana Kidd. When they divorced in 2007, Jason claimed she was emotionally unstable, but she alleged he was a massive cheater who stepped out with exotic dancers, drank too much, and abused her. He was arrested in 2001 for domestic violence against Jumana. In a tell-all piece with Metropolis Nights magazine, Jumana recalled a time when she used their son to uncover Jason's suspected infidelity. As the story goes, in December 2006, she allegedly got their son to lift Jason's phone from the locker room so she could comb through its text messages and yell at him from her courtside seats during a game, telling the magazine, It was blown up into something way bigger than it was. It was just his lawyers trying to paint a picture of me crossing boundaries, and they did a good job of it. But it was far from the truth. And it wasn't as dramatic and amazing as they made it sound, although I kind of wish it was. In November 2010, point guard Tony Parker's three-year marriage to actor Eva Longoria ended amid claims that he was unfaithful. The San Antonio Spurs legend never addressed his alleged infidelity, but Longoria broke her silence with Piers Morgan in 2011, just months after their divorce was finalized, saying, So many people want me to hate him, want me to destroy him, but I don't. I wish nothing but the best for him. I want him to be happy. You know, he's not a bad person. He's just uh, wanted something else, and, and I don't hate him for it. Longoria also discussed their divorce a year later and claimed it made her second-guess herself, saying on the Lifetime series the conversation with Amanda de Cadenet, It wasn't about who he chose. I mean, I had moments of, am I not sexy enough? Am I not pretty enough? Am I not smart enough? But in so many of those questions, I immediately stopped and said, no, don't start doing that because you can get stuck in that cycle. The drama wasn't bad for everyone, however. During an interview with Fans Sided, Parker's former Spurs teammate Robert Ory reflected on how the couple positively impacted his time in San Antonio, saying, That was the most boringest team. The most exciting thing we had was when Tony and Eva started dating. Atlanta Braves baseball star Chipper Jones wrote in detail about the time he decided to come clean to his wife, Karin Louise, about affairs he'd had throughout their marriage. In his 2017 memoir, Ball Player, he described an agonizing drive home to share the heartbreaking news, writing, She sat down and started welling up right away. She knew what was coming. She just didn't know the depth of it. Karin, I said, this is killing me and I've got to get it out. I've been having affairs with three girls. The girl from Detroit, Jennifer, is pregnant and she's going to have the baby. Jones described 30 minutes of subsequent chaos, crying, and shattered glass flying around their Georgia home. Then came a moment of silence. He wrote, she walked into my office and sat on the arm of the chaise lounge beside me. She leaned into me. We sat there in silence for a long time. I'm so sorry, I said. The couple divorced in 2000, and according to the New York Post, Jones later married his third wife, Playboy model Taylor Higgins, in 2015. In 2014, former NFL wide receiver Hank Baskett's marriage with model Kendra Wilkinson became embroiled in tabloid headlines when he was accused of having an affair with transgender model Ava Sabrina London. The couple later told People that the incident occurred while Wilkinson was eight months pregnant with their second child. As the story goes, Baskett wanted to buy marijuana from a random couple and was given an address to make the purchase. After using the restroom at the location, he claimed to have seen two trans women being intimate and one of them reportedly fondled Basket over his clothes. Did you get pleasure out of it? <laughs> Tell me the truth. I did not get any pleasure out of it. 
Basket and Wilkinson worked hard to rebuild their union, and they temporarily reconciled. Wilkinson told People in 2015, Hank was very naive and gullible. He thinks everybody is his friend. That led him to the hell that we've lived. However, according to Us Weekly, the couple's marriage ultimately ended in divorce in 2018. Back in 2013, when Paul George was still playing for the Indiana Pacers, the six foot eight inch forward was dating the daughter of Los Angeles Clippers coach Doc Rivers, Callie Rivers. Then, according to Black Sports Online, he met exotic dancer Daniela Rogic at a yacht party in Miami. Flash forward a few months to 2014, and Rogic was pregnant. Rumors began flying that George offered her $1 million to have an abortion, an accusation he vehemently denied, saying in a statement to TMZ Sports, if and when there is legal confirmation that I am the father, I will fully embrace my responsibilities. This is a personal matter that is still being sorted out, so I hope you can respect my privacy. According to People, it turned out the baby was his. The couple fell in love, and they got engaged in 2020. Now for the M. Night Shyamalan twist. In 2019, George was traded to the Clippers to play for, of all people, head coach Doc Rivers. According to the Daily Mail in 2005, Two years before getting married to Tony Poole, Chelsea legend John Terry said, I've misbehaved and slept with girls behind her back, and that's not right. She knows about it all now, and we're moving on. I'm not going to cheat on her ever again. However, in 2010, Terry had an extramarital affair with French underwear model Vanessa Parencel, his teammate Wayne Bridge's girlfriend and Poole's best friend. Terry vehemently denied the allegations, but a tabloid feeding frenzy broke out once a court ruled to lift a ban on reporting the alleged sordid details. Parencel also denied the affair took place, and later that year, two British tabloids publicly apologized to Parencel for their rabid reporting of the incident. As far as Wayne Bridges' thoughts on the matter, he refused to shake Terry's hand during a match in 2010, telling The Sun in 2017, the most disappointing aspect of it all is that I'm probably more famous for not shaking someone's hand than I am for playing football. I get abuse walking down the street now, and I let it go in one ear and out the other. It's a handshake after all, nothing more. If you or anyone you know has been a victim of sexual assault, help is available. Visit the Rape, Abuse, and Incest National Network website or contact Rain's National Helpline at 1-800-656-HOPE-4673.